I've worked with self-made billionaires, self-made millionaires, and I've interviewed thousands of people. And what I've come to the realization is the way we're achieving results and the way we've been taught to achieve results in life and in business is fundamentally flawed. So if you go and you do your MBA at the best school, they'll say, look here, you want to focus on your result. We want to increase sales by 10% or 20% or whatever percent it's irrelevant. And then you'll say, in order to do that, we're going to focus on these actions. We're going to increase sales. We're going to have more salespeople. We're going to, uh, we're going to increase sales calls. We're going to increase marketing, whatever the action is. And so you'll see a lift in the sales. And then at some point it will vacillate and we'll go back down. So you can see the same thing happen on the individual level as it happens on the company level. So the individual say, I want to lose 10 kgs. So I will diet and I will exercise and eventually you lose some weight and you gain it back and you start to vacillate. What we're ignoring is our beliefs, our values and our identity, which are really the drivers of our results. This is really supersede whatever action you're gonna take. Let me show you how simply this works. You have a friend, they become a vegan. Immediately, they lose 10 kgs because their belief system around food has dramatically changed and that delivers the result. You take it at maybe even a nationhood at a, at a national level. Uh, you look at Gandhi. Gandhi was not a politician, nor was he a general, but he achieved what all the politicians and all the generals in India could not achieve. So when the generals wanted to push the, the British out of India, they had a very distinct set of actions, military actions, uh, violent actions did not work. The politicians tried their set of actions that didn't work. Gandhi was successful because he focused on the belief and the identity of the Indian people and what it was really to be Indian and this gave him the result. So when you look at your business, you have to touch, if you want to drive peak performance, if you want to drive peak performance in your life, if you want to drive peak performance in your company, you have to start dealing with the beliefs. You can only change behavior once you change the belief system that's governing that behavior. So the core question you want to ask yourself is how do you change beliefs?